Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to talk about the new Translate app that came with iOS 14 and we're going to compare it to Google Translate and see how it holds up. So the Translate app is a, is a new native app that can help you translate foreign languages in English or English into other languages, you know, whatever. Whatever you're trying to you translate. You understand what translation means? Yes. If you don't, <laughs> watch one of our easier videos. <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the Translate app. I don't have the app icon. It's in my app library. So I'm going to type in Translate here. There it is. Awesome. Now, David was super stoked when he saw this for the first time. He was freaking out. And I was like, that's really impressive, David. So let me, let me start with a simple thing. I'd like to go to the restaurant. Me gustaría ir al restaurante. Right. And you can play it back, which is cool. So that's all it can do? What else can it do? Well, it can also download languages offline. So maybe you don't have Wi-Fi or cellular data when you're traveling. You can get that language offline. So if you just tap on the language in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, you'll see all these available offline languages. Just tap that little down arrow next to the language. Offline languages. Pretty neat. Wow. Now let's bring in Google Translate. Leave your phone out here. Come on, it'll be fun. So Google Translate, I just selected English to Spanish. And there are a lot of these as well. I think that there's probably- there's probably a few more. A couple more languages. Um, also, it, you could download them for offline use. And let's just see here, voice. I'd like to go to the restaurant. Yeah, same thing there. Do you speak Spanish? I took a little bit of Spanish. Let's have a conversation. Now you say the something. <laughs> Well, nothing. <laughs> I'm stumped. You got me stumped. I'm on the spot. I don't like it. <laughs> this is a reflection of our wonderful public school system in Massachusetts. Silver Lake High oh, School boy. would be do the, do very, the... very proud right now. Okay, what's next? So, you think that's all it can do? Live translation? Universal translator? Are we on Star Trek? No? Okay. Next is you could do handwriting and you could do camera, which is my fave. So here I have the manual to my new vacuum cleaner, the Dyson Cyclone V10. Ooh. It's an awesome vacuum cleaner. Anyway, really happy with that. So if I aim this at text, for instance, this wash the filter unit, it will translate. Well, actually just translated everything into Spanish, but let's go the other way. Spanish to English. Wash unit foot watch the filter in cold water at least once a month. See that? That's amazing. Isn't it? Register today. Register today. Wow. Three easy ways to register your two year limited warranty. Is that not amazing? That's pretty good. I think we got to give Apple a little bit more time to develop the translate app though. Sure. And uh, add some of these cool new features that uh, you already have. So I guess they're not really new. Well, they're not exactly my features. They're just Google Translate features. And actually this really came in handy because I was going to Cabo once for a conference and that makes me sound pretty smart. Pretty special. Pretty cool. Yeah. All right, anyway, I was going to Cabo once for a conference and they ran out of the English version of the customs forms on the plane. And we didn't know how to speak Spanish and uh, we were probably too proud to ask the people around us. So instead we used the Google Translate app to figure out what it said and were able to get into Mexico. Thanks, Google Translate. There you go. There's a very specific use case. Next time you're traveling to Cabo for a conference, you'll be. Yeah, next time. I'm not going back to that conference. Yes, that's the iPhone Translate app. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think of the Translate app or the other iOS 14 features. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about iPhones.